welcome to this video on the topic of linear relationships. In this video, we'll be having a look at the concept of midpoint, then having a go at applying the midpoint formula on a few examples. Now, the midpoint of two points can be calculated by taking the average of two points. Looking down on a Cartesian plane here, we have two points, points A and B. In between points A and B, we have this third point that's called MAB. What this MAB is, is the midpoint of points A and B. Now to be able to calculate MAB, all we need to do is we take the average of points A and points B. Now if point A is defined as coordinates X1 and Y1, and point B is, point B is defined as the coordinates X2 and Y2, all we need to do is add the coordinates together, so add the X's together and the Y's together, and then divide it by 2, and that will give us the average. Now applying this, we write M is equal to, and then because we're expecting a coordinate, so an ordered pair as our result, we open some brackets and we go X1 plus X2 all over 2, and then we're going to go Y1 plus Y2 all over 2 as such. And what we have here is a general formula that will tell us the midpoint between two points. Now this formula itself, we call this the midpoint formula. Now applying the midpoint formula to a few examples, if we go down, we have calculate the midpoint. So we have midpoint MAB, MAC, and MBC. And we have coordinates, or we have coordinates A, B, and C on this Cartesian plane as such. Now what we're going to do is we'll start off with coordinate M, so MAB. So writing this out, we're going to get for MAB, for the midpoint of AB, we're going to write out the coordinates of A, that's minus four and three. Then we're going to write the coordinates of B. And if we look up, the coordinates are four or five and four, Next step is I'm going to define which coordinate I want to be x1 and y1, and then for x2 and y2. After that, I write out my midpoint formula. So m is equal to x1 plus x2. So the average of the x coordinates and the average of the y coordinates. We never mix x and y coordinates together using this formula. Now next step is we substitute in the values that we're solving for. So we're going for the midpoint of AB. And then I'm going to write X1 plus 5. So minus 4 plus 5 divided by 2. And the average of the Y's, 3 plus 4, all divided by 2. Step after that, I simply bring up my calculator. And I'll clear the memory just for good sake. And then I'll put in the first coordinate, so minus 4 plus 5 divided by 2, and that's a half. Next one is 3 plus 4 gives us 7 divided by 2, that gives us 3.5. And thus, the answer for this solution is M, or the midpoint of AB is 0 0.5 and 3.5. Now I could have easily done this calculation in my head here. However, it's a good habit to go for the calculator for these sort of problems here when we sub all the values in. The reason being is that if we're dealing with more complicated values, then we're going to use the calculator anyway. And furthermore, it's very easy to make simple clerical errors when we're dealing with numbers like this. So all you need to do to show full working out for a question like this is simply state the points show the, the formula, substitution, and then go straight for the results. Once you get the substitution done, you can just go for the results. All right, moving to the next one. All right, now going for the midpoint of AC. Our coordinates for A are going to be minus four and three, and our coordinates for C are going to be one and minus three. Defining X1 and Y1, Defining x2 and y2. Now I'm going to write out my midpoint formula. Substituting in, we get minus 4 plus 1 
all divided by 2, then 3 plus minus 3, all divided by 2, then going for the calculator. Once again, I can easily do this in my head. However, I don't want to make mistakes just misreading numbers, so I'll just put them in like this. So we go minus 4 plus 1 gives us minus 3 divided by 2 minus 4 plus 1 divided by 2 gives us minus 1.5. And then we're going to go 3 minus 3 gives us 0. And then the answer is going to be 0. Thus, what we find is that the midpoint for uh, the midpoint of line AC here is going to be located at minus 1.5 and 0, so still on the x-axis there. A diagram seems to agree with what we've calculated here. Last and, or last one, midpoint of BC. We write out the coordinates for point B. That's going to be 5 and 4. And the coordinates for C are still 1 and minus 3. Finding x1 and y1. Moving on, we're going to get midpoint, like so. And then subbing in the values. It's simply going to be midpoint of BC. Bring up the calculator. 5 plus 1 divided by 2 is 3. And then 4 plus minus 3 gives us 1 divided by 2, and that's a half. Thus, the midpoint for line BC is simply equal to three and a half.